Now that you understand the plan for how we want to put together Bullseye, let's get started with the implementation. Let's start with the text at the top of Bullseye's screen, which you can see here, that tells the user the target value that they're aiming for. This text challenges the user to move the slider to a specific value. It could be represented by a single text object with both the challenge and the target value, but we're actually going to go with two, one for the challenge and one for the target value. These two text objects need to be laid out side by side, which sounds like an opportunity to use an HStack. In this screenshot, you can see how the text objects in the HStack will fit together. There are a couple ways to create this HStack. One way is to type the necessary code into the editor, but let's do it another way by using the Swift UI Canvas. You'll embed the existing Welcome to My First App text into an HStack, and then you'll change its text. All right, so we want to put this Welcome to My First App into an HStack using the Swift UI Canvas. To do that, just select it in the Canvas editor and hold down Command and click. Now, remember, in the past, we did the Show Swift UI Inspector, but there are some other options here too, including Embed in HStack. So I'm going to head and select that. And you may have noticed that in the code over here, it just put that text label inside an HStack. Cool. So let's go ahead and update this text to put the bullseye as close as you can too. So again, we do that by command click, show Swift UI inspector, and change the text to put the bullseye as close as you can to colon. And we'll just click out of there. And it's updated the text for us. Now, we don't want it to be green or bold anymore, so I'm just going to select those lines of code and delete them. So now we want to select another, add another text label to the right of this one. So we can do that in the canvas editor by clicking the plus button, and we're going to find a label or text and drag that over here. And you got to be careful where it puts things because you got to pay attention to that little label that appears on the bottom. So we want the blue icon here to be attached to the, the text label, and it should say insert text into horizontal stack. If you see something like add text to new horizontal stack, that's not what we really want. Um, we want to be into the existing horizontal stack that's a, that this existing label is a part of. And so when we release it, it puts it in the right spot, which is right there. And we're going to change the text to 100, command click, show Swift UI inspector, change that to 100. All right, let's build and run and see what that looks like on the simulator. Nice, we've laid out the first row of the app. Next up is the slider and its markings of its minimum value of 1 and its maximum value of 100. These can be represented by a text view, followed by a slider view, followed by another text view, all wrapped up in its own HStack view. This time, let's try setting this up by writing some code. After all, we have some examples of using HStack and text in code already. All right, so how do we code up an HStack? Well, we just follow the example we see here. We just write HStack and a curly brace, and inside these curly braces are all the things we want to include inside our HStack. So we can just follow the examples of how to add a label. You just do text, and inside parentheses, you put what you want to appear. So at the left side of the slider, we want it to say 1, and on the other side of the slider, we want it to say 100, like so. And you can see here, this is really cool. As I'm typing this, it's automatically giving me a preview of what the user interface looks like. Cool. So let's add a slider itself. Now, unfortunately, we don't have an example that we can pull from to add a slider. So actually, the Swift UI Canvas is really useful to learn the syntax of how to add controls as well, because you can add it with the Swift UI Canvas, and you can see what the code looks like and kind of learn how to do the code that way. We're going to add the slider in via the Canvas, but I'm going to show you how you can kind of drag it where you want it inside the code, which is kind of cool too. So go ahead and click the plus button, and we're going to look down here to find a slider. And you can drag it in here like you have before, but you can also drag it up here into where you want it inside the code. And if I release it right there, it makes a slider inside that HStack in the proper place, which sometimes is easier than finding the correct place to drag it in the correct tooltip and so on over here. So let me go ahead and build and run so we can check out how this slider is looking inside our simulator. Notice that it looks right. I have one and 100 and the slider there, but if I try dragging the thumb on the slider, nothing happens. It's, it's kind of stuck. So why is that? Well, this is a good time to take a look at a useful Xcode feature. It allows you to find out more about just about anything in code that has a name. And the way it works is just hold down the option key and move the cursor over the constant text here. 
And if I click where it says constant, a little quick help comes up. Now, the summary text you see here, which says creates a binding with an immutable value, that may sound like mindless technobabble to you right now. But the words binding and immutable might be hints that state has something to do with it. We're going to deal with the mystery of this stuck slider in a few episodes, but let's finish setting up the rest of the controls first. And in fact, that's going to be your next challenge.